For now and then, what is that? I'm testing out my video. Tip over. Go ahead. Uh, when he leave his motorcycle out there, I just decided I'd try it out, jump on it. Coming up from the shop, I'd jump on a motorcycle and I'd take a little spin, you know. And I'd done that for a couple of weeks there, you know. This one day, Womper was out there. He's only four years old. He said, Dad, can I ride along? And, uh, yeah, I, I guess. I'd just go down down the lower part of the house, I'd get on the highway and come back. So he was on there. There he is. He, he might remember it. So anyway, I come back. And when I come back, instead of coming up the hill, I kind of headed over towards the woods. It's just a narrow road there, you know, and a little bridge across the creek. And man, there was dogs all over the place. It was across the creek and on the side of the road and everything. Man, he come out charging at me. About every kind of dog you could think of. All big ones, too. <laughs> about right? down here? Yeah. Yeah. Can you remember that? On that motorcycle? On that motorcycle. Yeah. See, he doesn't remember. Yeah, I, I couldn't forget that one. Oh, man. And so here they're running after me. Man, I mean, they're snarling. Boy, they, they want to bite of me. And he's sitting up there in front of me on, like, the gas tank. And I mean, my heart come up my mouth, because here I'm headed, the road was already bad, but going up the hill, it was loaded with chunky brick bats and points mm -hmm. up and everything, you know. I mean, it was rough, but I go bouncing up that thing about 30 miles an hour, you know, and I'm afraid he's going to bounce off. But anyway, they, they kind of gave up to me when I got about halfway up that hill, it was about in, that was about two blocks, and they run at high speed. And uh, anyway, I went right on up to the top. And I had to stop, and my heart was in my mouth and beat. I could hear it beating off, or trying to beat its way out, you know. And I said, Lord, I said, man, I'm scared. And I said, Lord, you know I'm scared. I said, them dogs about got me up. I said, I don't have to tell you all about it. But I said, Lord, I'm scared to death of those dogs. I said, I got my boy on here. And I said, man, I said, if I fall or if I don't fall, they're going to eat me up, you know. So I said, Lord, I'm going to trust you that you're going to... I said... Uh, I'm going to trust you. You kept uh, David from the lions. I said, if you kept David from the lions, I know you can keep me from them dogs. And I, I, I kind of calmed down myself. And I said, Lord, I'm going to believe you're going to protect me. So I cranked the motorcycle back up, and I'm coming down through here. I said, Lord, I'm dependent on you now. So I get back down there where the dogs had started from. They all kind of went back in their same places. And them dogs, Bobby, was laying on the sides of the road. Smiling. Instead of snarling, they was like smiling. <laughs> they were really smiling. Their lip was up like smiling, like like the Lord had laid her hand on them, saying, "You don't bother this guy. Just give him a nice welcome or something, you know." And not one dog got up. Not one dog chased me. And I just come rolling through there, nice and easy, you know. Then I thought of that scripture in the Bible where those ten lepers was healed, and only one of them came back to thank the Lord. And I so I had my prayer all again, Lord. I'm going to be one that's going to thank you because, boy, I, you t they, they, they put the skewer in me and you took it out. So I thank you, thank you, thank you. We thought we was going to do dog food on a motorcycle. Oh, yeah, man, there's a bunch of them.